Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all are having an amazing, uh, or had an amazing weekend so far, or uh, up to the beginning of rewind, cut, we're good. Okay, try that again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all had a great weekend and are looking forward to a good week ahead of you. Um, we are going to be playing more Assassin's Creed Syndicate here in just a moment, but before we get started, I just want to take a brief second and uh just to quickly say i hope you all are taking care of yourselves um no matter what form that takes uh self-care and all that is important um and yeah like i mean it's, it's genuinely that just that simple honestly um actually let me make let me make sure that my audio is actually fucking coming through because that would be important uh there we go yeah <laughs> Sorry, I just had to be sure. I, I've had so many technical technical difficulties in just the last half an hour um, I, that I was worried. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, one other thing before we get properly started, I just want to take a quick, quick moment and talk about the uh, fact that I have a link tree. There is a link tree where you can go to find links to my stuff, I, my socials. Um, sorry, they're yelling at me in the game. My socials, my, uh, uh, Discord, my YouTube, where my VODs go after I stream them, my, uh, uh, Twitch, if you're watching this on YouTube and want to watch me live, um, as well as a bunch of other things in there that I think you all might enjoy or be interested in. Um, and including, uh, but not the least of which is my patreon where you can support me directly without having to go through the likes of twitch and google um it's probably the most direct way of, of supporting my streams though it's not at all uh not just my streams but all all content that i plan to do eventually um it's uh yeah um it's not required not a big deal the patreon shouldn't be too set to too expensive it's like a dollar or two at most um so you know it, it's not that big a deal but you know every little bit helps you know um but uh yeah um if you don't feel like messing with it that's fine any if you don't feel like messing with any of it it's fine i won't hold it against you you know you're still welcome to uh my content for free um and uh yeah welcome anyway that's enough of my rambling so let's just go ahead and get back into it and by into it i mean back into assassin's creed syndicate you might need this. thanks kiddo well done. um i figured today we would start out here with meeting with our good friend charles over here Okay, we, we kill a guy, and then we go meet with our friend Charles. <clears throat> Thank goodness you're here. Impossible as it may sound, spring Jack has returned. We need to do something before the unthinkable happens. He did say that we'd not seen the last of the spring villain. The return of Spring Hill Jack. Get away from me, you monster! Stop! I am a ghost, a queen, a terror in the night. I touched the ground, but it didn't count it. Maybe I didn't land on the ground. Straight. 
Maybe I didn't. Where would I have landed? Hold on. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, uh, my mouse being being a bit of a dick. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, okay. Sorry. Distracted by Discord. It's fine. All right, so we might have landed on that, but anyway. That's not what I said. Oh, cross the dam. The dam? The road. The damn road. I think that's what I was trying to say. Okay, apparently that doesn't count as ground either. How am I supposed to tackle him when he's on the ground? saying press there we go There we go. No one is safe from my face Vanished. Impossible. Thanks to you, the Ghost Club's reputation has grown tremendously. We are a beacon of reason in a world beguiled by superstition. <coughs> but I believe we have encountered one genuine spirit. Can you be certain? 
That's the question. One might surmise that the spirits that haunt us are simply our deepest fears, manifested as apparitions. Shame. I've always wanted to see a ghost or a goblin. I propose a toast to the Ghost Club and the virtuous twins that have aided it. Miss Evie and Mr. Jacob. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Done and done. All right. Uh, yeah. So we've got Jacob over there. We've got Charles Darwin up here in Lambeth. Uh, another Darwin there. A couple of murders. But I think I'm going to do something different today. Just give us a bit of a break, you know, just a bit of a break. Just the smallest bit of break. We're gonna go see what that's about. What that's about. And you might be saying, but, but Crimson, isn't that a continuation of the storyline that takes place after the events of the game? Only technically. Only technically. It does not actually directly connect to the events of the game, to my recollection. Uh, to the story, main story. And it only takes place after the events because it's a different, because you'll see, I don't want to spoil anything. But it is, we're taking a break from the, uh, the everything for a moment is all. Your robes really do not like the current lighting situation that's happening. <laughs> land in the water. I did not land in the water. Hoping I'd land in the water. Oh well. Oops, a turtle. Alright, now where am I going? This way, I believe. Yes, we are heading. To this. comes a point where sometimes it's just faster to take a boat. Sorry, sir. Going for a swim, he was. The 
the darkest hour. Now, because I'm a nerd. Come closer, Cypher. Perhaps we have met before. Perhaps not. You search for an artifact. Let me show you the truth. that it says under the darkest hour is Lydia will lead you home. I already love her outfit. <clears throat> I remembered loving her outfit, but I already love it more than I had thought I did. Look at her outfit. Look at her. Look at her. All right, so we're in World War One, looking for the Master Spy. Ah, it's across him. Oh, I know the sector of of London that this is. Uh, this is. Uh, if I if I so. If you recall our one of my other streams, which was Watch Dogs Legion, we actually went into the Tower of London and there was a whole there was a whole thing there. And I remember looking at the overworld of the uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which the people, the same people who made uh, the same team, I believe, or the same studio, at least, who created Assassin's Creed Syndicate also created Assass uh, Watch Dogs Legion. If not the same team, definitely the same stu the, the same sub studio of Ubisoft. Um, but anyway, point is the uh, excuse me the uh, the uh, I was looking at the map and wondering where the hell that was, and I believe that is it right here. Um, so basically, Assassin's Creed Syndicate only goes up to the map so far, and then it goes, and then London continues after that. Um, and, uh, with, in Watch Dogs Legion, they gave you the full, the full thing. And in this, they give you, uh, at least one more segment along the Thames. So, anyway, what do we have here? What do we have? There she is. Lydia Fry. All right. Uh, she's already fully, already fully upgraded. Look at that. Uh, encyclopedia, people, enemies. Lord Cardigan. We well, we already knew about him. World War One. Lydia Fry, born March nineteenth, eighteen ninety three. 
It's relative comfort. Jacob's granddaughter. She's the granddaughter of Jacob Fry. Uh... Was initially reluctant to enter into the family business, preferring to concentrate on her studies. However, it was this very education that showed her just how much influence the Templars still had held over the history of the world. After seeing friends and family fall in the secret battle, she decided to join the fight. Lydia's parents were often engaged in, assassins, uh, in assassin missions across the continent, so the role of instructor fell to her grandfather, Jacob and grand aunt Evie. Uh, she became a very well-balanced assassin, one who could carefully assess any situation and strike with precision. But one, sorry, I have a big old thumbprint in the middle of my lens here. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. Um, one who could carefully assess any situation and strike with precision, but one who could also think for herself and improvise when a plan fell through. Lydia fell in love with a fellow assassin named Sam Crowder, and they were married shortly after the outbreak of the First World War. Assassins from all across Europe were pulled in every direction in order to have a presence in every theater of war and seat of power, while Sam, along with many others from the British Brotherhood, enlisted in the army. Lydia took it upon herself to stay and watch over London. After securing the Elder Fries safely away in the countryside, Lydia returned to London and worked alone to protect it not only from German spies and the manipulative British right of the Templar Order, but also from any new and strange threats that sought to take advantage of the chaos. Also, we met Galina Voron Voronina uh, last time. Uh, and uh, so yeah. Ooh, that's sway, okay. Uses the generator to attract the spy. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What? Don't worry, it's just the generator acting up. I'll see to you. Stop right there. That's not very polite. Even in these trying times, we must never forget the laws of common courtesy. Arms down. Mr. Churchill? We appear to have been following the same trail this ride. I got here first. Indeed, you are to be commended. I fear, however, that we have not wholly rooted out evil in this facility. There's another radio. Accompany me. If you would be so kind. That second device must be found, or new waves of zeppelins will soon blanket the heavens. Short on soldiers, are we? If you could put your considerable talents to good use at Tower Bridge, you would have the thanks of a brave but beleaguered nation. I would settle for the right to vote. Damn! I mean, yeah, but damn. Hell yeah. 
We have word of further spires near Tower Bridge. If you can locate them, I have no doubt you'll have information on that second radio. Yes, yes, yes. I am s turning this off, though. Because that noise is so annoying. Wherever these people are, trouble is sure to follow. Someone of your talents should have little difficulty in identifying them. Yes, 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 yes. 1916, London. Come on, do what I'm telling you to do. No. Okay, fine. I want that helix glitch. Oh, I bet I know what I need to do. Hold on. There we go, that'll do it. Drop. Nope, no intruder. Just a shadow. Blinking along. Okay, fine. Do we have any viewpoints here? None that I'm seeing. Uh, there are 20 helix glitches, 40 chests, 2 golden chests, and 10 letters. Um... I see some reds. No, I'm just, I just have a hunch. It's fine. here and pick this up <laughs> December 1914 dear Alfie how are you old chum it seems like years since I left for France with the lads but it's only been two months I know in the past I've teased you Alfie uh, but that bad leg of yours is a blessing in disguise truth is that you haven't missed out on any great excitement maybe at first it felt that way but the longer things get on the more this feels like uh, a terrible punishment. Uh, it will be Christmas soon back in England, but not out on these cold wet and wet fields. We have uh, this week we have dug out a new trench and we all joked that we were digging out our own graves. We laughed, Alfie, but I wonder if it wasn't the truth and that we all knew it. 
your old chum, Gerald. Private Gerald Collingfield returned to England and spent the rest of the war in a military hospital. Well, damn. At least he was alive. Unlike many. Templars. Let's, uh, look for that. Get fucked. You, sir, may get all of the fuck. Didn't actually see anything. Did you? I don't like the looks of her. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, you stupid soldier. Alright, so he's the bitch I need to steal from. you come and make me no cowards cowardly cowards who cowered all the cowards go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep you little coward Man, I could just blow him the fuck up. Oh, that's a... I have made a mistake. I could have just kidnapped him and then walked in there. Throw a bomb, that's what I'm looking for. Now this bitch I need to steal from. There's another letter over here. You're fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, 
September 1915. Dear Mother, I just wanted to let you know that we've arrived at Luce. Luce? Luce. Lou. Way at the top of France. We're not, uh, we're not making jokes about the name now that we're here, and everyone is very nervous while we wait for the order. Everyone tells such grim stories, and every day you hear something worse. I think you are right in that it is a very silly thing to do coming here and lying on the form like that. But if you tell everyone that I'm only 17 and that I should be sent home, everything will all be all right. Ask Reverend Farrell, and he could talk to the right people because I'm not, I'm really not supposed to be here, and I want to come back. All my love, Francis. Private Francis Kelly was reported missing a week later. His body was never recovered. Sad face. One second. I have to do a thing over here. I have to do a thing over here. Did the thing over there, and now I'll be coming back over here. Hello. Whoa. Hmm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Whoa. Hmm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Ugh, damn it. Come on, game. Do what I'm telling you to do here. No. No. Come on. There we go. Really? Oh my lord god almighty. Would you stop? I'm getting a little frustrated by this game being a bitch. You are on full screen, not borderless. Putting you on borderless. Keep. And now putting you back on full screen. So that you will stop trying to move the damn mouse. Keep. Oh god. Okay, it looks like it's fine. Ugh. Sorry about that, everybody. There we go. Oh, no. to the 
river, but I need more than this. Alrighty. Next one's over here. Hold on a second. Okay. Interesting. chest there. There's my guy there. I did not mean. Sorry, I took the wrong turn. I'm leaving. Sorry. Was not my intention. Was not my intention. I don't know those green ones are. Oh, I wonder if they're assassin allies. Ah, uh, no, they're, uh. They're. Rooks, sort of. Now to reach the North Tower. Are there any shops? I don't seem to be seeing any, at least not at the moment. Also no fast travel points, which is totally not going to get annoying.
No, I'm not. No. Okay. that throw. Suddenly feeling very alone. It is done, sir. Let us postpone celebrations. One of the bloody blimps has broken through. Not to worry. I have a contingency plan. <sighs> Churchill is wrong, but I have pointed at things before. That's a hell of a line.
Heartwarming sight, Miss Fry. Your remarkably armed boat deserves a share of recognition. One of my experimental projects when I was Lord of the Admiralty. I haven't always been a man of shadows. And I suppose this victory will thrust you back into the limelight. We may have struck a blow against the enemy. London is still riddled with German agents. Currently, there's a new group unlike anything I've seen before. Theirs is a fanatical, almost religious fervor. And you believe I'm the woman to flush them out? Indeed. I dare not approach Mr. Asquith without firmer evidence, but I believe they pose an immediate threat. If you can see to this, I give you my word that once I've battled my way back into Parliament, I shall see if something can't be done about your request. As you are aware, a vote can be far more lethal than a bullet or a blade. Indeed. <laughs> It's also much easier. Once I walked the earth as you do. I was born to the Illuminat cast in the city of Feyan in the year 2195 of the Isu era. Now I travel the vast corridors of your machines, adrift here within the gray. But I grow stronger. The world is nearly ready for my return. And so I have summoned you to this war-torn simulation to tell you a story. It is our story. Okay. Lydia Fry, Winston Churchill. Tower Bridge, December 14th, September 19th, or, uh, 17th. You, you, you can read. You don't need me to read them out loud. Um, I have earned full skill points. I don't need them. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all leveled up here. All right. So mission tells me to go. I have a Winston Churchill mission here. Ooh, I do have a viewpoint here. Let's go see the viewpoint. Let's go to the viewpoint. Let's go to the viewpoint. After we grab the letter. Dear uncle, I'm recovering quite well from my wounds. So the doctor, so the doctors tell me. There is still such a thick air of dejection in the hospital. And we all remember the friends we've lost and, and in what a futile effort we lost them. The scenes of Dardan Dardenne whatever uh, will haunt us for many years I suspect or e expect though I was pleased to hear that your news from home uh, to hear your news from home Churchill deserves much worse than the ca than to be cast out of the Admiralty for the mess he has brought us into at Gallipoli 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 uh, if as you say, he is making plans to see the Western Front for himself, then no doubt his recklessness will bring him graver punishment. I look forward to sailing home once I am sufficiently well and appreciate your offer of a post in Westminster. I intend to do, to do you proud and to endeavor to win this wool from the offices of London since I could accomplish so little here. Your faithful nephew, George. Lieutenant George Featherway had a short career as a politician and prospered as a businessman after the war. Synchronization. 
There's another viewpoint here and another one there. Okay. So. So, 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 so. Okay. Hey, y'all. Wait a second. Okay. Second, I have to do a thing over here again. Okay. I would say let's run around here, but I think and, and get these glitch these uh, helix glitches. But I think we're gonna be there for a mission at some point. But I could be wrong. Um, we'll head here next. Oh hi. Not a cadaver. Horse. Not a cadaver. Jeez. Okay. Um, actually, wait. No. Before we go there, let's just go straight up for the viewpoints. We'll hit the three viewpoints so that we have the fast travel options and have the full map un uh, unveiled. talk to Winston while we're up here. Might as well, you know. Everything you've ever... 
You have excellent taste. I hope you like my new office, Miss Fry. As you can see, my informants have found some promising leads. Evidence of spy activity has <coughs> surfaced around the field hospital, St. Catherine's docks, and the Tower of London. I needn't remind you how crucial it is that we put a stop to these infiltrators. Okay. And these are the, I believe these are their equivalent of clear the district missions. Um, a Zeppelin raid for income. Clarence Stockhouse. Spy hunt the magpie. Nah, we'll, we'll do the hunt and then we'll see what happens. Magpie was a talented thief before the war, and now works as a spy. He was recently captured after eavesdropping on an assassin meeting, and is being held in the Tower of London. Miss Frank, I believe I'm <coughs> quite getting the hang of this espionage business. This one should be of particular interest to you. One of the spies currently detained at the Tower has been making some rather fanciful claims about a brotherhood of assassins, no less. You may want to silence him before he causes you and your associates undue trouble. Consider it my gift to you. Have, have the guards kill the spy. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Murdered guard, the spy must have escaped. The blood is fresh, so he must still be nearby. All right, what we got here? Now we've been here as Jacob, um, I believe. Uh, maybe it was easy, but we've been here as one of them uh, for a specific mission, and then we couldn't return without replaying that mission because it wasn't part of the map. Hi, go to sleep. Me. Ah. Budika's torque. That was one of the things I've been looking for, uh, and is one of the reasons why I decided I wanted to do this today. 
was because there's a couple of crafting there's some crafting materials that are only available in these memories which you know doesn't make a t bit a bit of timeline sense but uh, it's fine you know <laughs> I did not say to do that, lady. Come on. Come on, Ms. Lydia. No, I'm not. If it would let me do what I'm trying to tell her to do. Drop. Drop. There we go. There we go. Alan. He's over there somewhere. Oh, Mr. Magpie. Not even Evie. How dare you? Now, I have him all berserked, so this should satisfy the requirements. There we go. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Nothing. You saw nothing. Come on, turn around. Only cowards don't go and investigate the shadows. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right. Now then. Bitch, make me. Someone's fighting in here. Yeah. Female intruder. Alarm. I'll look at that in a second. Father Spencer, I am writing to you because I don't wish to unburden myself on my family, and you have so often been a, sp a source of spiritual solace. It's true I haven't always been the most diligent churchgoer in town, but I left for this war with prayer in my heart, and your words when last we spoke have been ever-present in my mind. 
It, it can only be God's grace that allows me to write... I lost my spot. Uh, God's grace that allows me to write to you now with so many of my companions suffering a worse fate. I, uh, you, ha yeah. you may have read in some of the papers of the fighting happening by the river. Uh, by the river Somme. Uh, however terrible... However terrible their accounts, and however alarming the number of casualties reported, nothing could, come, nothing could come close to describing the horror of the battlefield. All I remember is the noise and the sliding of my boots in the mud as I ran. Only it was... only it wasn't mud. Father, it wasn't only mud. I only... I, once I fell and lay in it, mercifully unconscious. I awoke to find something heavy weighing, down, weighing me down. I lay there for what seemed like hours, too afraid to move, until someone pushed the body off me and saw I still live. How can such things happen in the in this world, Father? And how are we to bear them? Stephen Bennings. Sergeant Bennings returned home weeks after the Battle of Somme and was diagnosed with shell shock, aka PTSD. I was trying to let you guys live, but you know, he forced my hand. Now then, I'm trying to go for that. Now, I don't think this will be low enough. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Drop. There we go. Alright. Alright, so there's a letter over here. Down. 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 Up and over. Dear Katie, I want... I want you to know that I am well, and ha still in the north of France. The photograph you gave me is of constant is of is a constant source of comfort. No matter what is happening around me, I can look at the picture of you in your parents' garden and feel the warmth of that summer's day. I haven't forgotten my vow. I shall s I soon I shall return, and we shall be married, and all this awfulness will be forgotten. 
I ask you not to read the, the accounts that are appearing in the newspapers in the meantime. They will only worry you without cause. Think of me as I was on our last day, standing in the, at the station in my new uniform, and know that the train that will bring me back will not be long now. Your ever-loving Christopher. Corporal Christopher Albin was killed in battle three weeks later. Not seeing anything else here in the tower. Let's head back to. Well, there's that. Let's do, let's do that. Well, I mean... Hold on one second. There we go. Alright. Okay, um... So we are we have half of the chests <clears throat> currently available. Not currently available, but in the game. In the in this section of the game. Which means we only have 20 chests left in the entirety of the game. Well, give or take. There might be one or two special ones that don't count. I don't remember. I could check. But I'm feeling a little lazy. Reach the anti-aircraft gun. Where? Which one? What? Oh, over there.
wow, I'm really not centered on my camera. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm really close to this viewpoint, so let's just get this viewpoint. The viewpoint. Come on, come on. Nope, wrong side. Damn it. I have to do the leap of faith into the thing from the other side of the thing. Ugh. Huh. I'm not sure how to get that way. Oh, 
Yes, I am. I know how to do it. Alright, let me pick up this chest right here. And come around here. Pick up this letter. Dear Lizzie, Daddy is still far away on his grand adventure, but he misses you very much and thinks of you every moment. I know you wanted with all your heart that I should be there for your birthday, and I wanted it to. I hope you like the present I sent. <clears throat> Hold it tight when you go to sleep, and that way I'll be closer to you. And that way I'll be closer to you. You must do everything Mummy tells you and must study hard Please at school and make me very, pla very proud. As I know you will, as I know you will. Uh, already from your letter, I could see how nicely you write and how very clear you are, how very clever you are getting. I have made a new friend here who likes to write too. His name is Wilfred, and he spends much of his time writing poetry. If you're a good little girl, I will ask him to write a poem for you. Would you like that? With all the love in your world, Daddy. Sergeant Michael Perel, or Perel was killed at the Battle of the Somme the following month. Oh. She never got her poem written. At least, uh, unless he talked to the guy, like, really quickly. Alright, now. 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 Do I just eat? Nope. Nope, I do not. I'm on the right, and that was, I feel, that felt the closest so far. Um, I bet, I bet I need to... <clears throat> oh god. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. Can I just go up and over? I can. I mean, I didn't want to go all the way up, but sure. Here we go. Fine. Let's just go all the way down and then run back up. So yeah, no, I very much need to be on my fucking rope. I didn't think so. Okay. Alright. Um... Yeah, 
yeah, that that won't. This jump, what right here, won't will lead me into the water, not to the thing. I don't know. If I if I can't fix that, ah, screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm not gonna waste time messing with it. I'll figure it out uh, elsewhere. All right, let's go clear this stock house. I'll feel. I'll figure it out off stream. No, I didn't want to go up. I mean, fine, but like, it wasn't what I wanted. Come on. Do what I'm... This game is arguing with me.
come on. Lady. How can you not lob it higher than that? You're an assassin. You literally hang from your fingertips at all times. How do you not have the upper body strength to lob that further? Higher? How? As our people clashed, we became distracted from an impending doom. A coronal mass ejection from our angry sun. The greatest minds of our time assembled to prevent the coming disaster. Among them, forthright Minerva, proud Jupiter, beloved Aita. Minerva, Jupiter, we and Aita. We spent years locked away in the Grand Temple, attempting to find salvation. The others could only think of physical solutions. Yet I believe the only way to save us was to transform us. Inspired by the research of the great scientist Consus, I attempted to place Aita's mind into a stronger synthetic body. I failed, and my beloved died in my arms. The others shunned me. And the process for that resulted, I ultimately resulted in Aita being the one who reborn into human bodies uh, via like the whole sage thing with all the different uh, with the two with the, the consistent facial facial features and heterochromia. Periscope. A periscope. There you go. Um. Few more of these glitches out here that I can get at another time. Um. <laughs> Uh, well, we still need to get this U point, so that's where we're going to be aiming. But first, in order to get myself halfway there, we're just going to fast travel to that. I said it, we were going over here. Um, mm, nah, we'll, we'll take the slow way down. Because <clears throat> in the end, it will put us closer to where we actually want to be. 
we are. Yeah, I've said it. We are. Let's go. Let's start here.
Dear Becky, your brother Andrew has asked that I write you as he is presently unable to do so himself. Please don't be alarmed, though. He has only the most superficial of wounds and is recuperating nicely. He would like me to tell you that the injury was incurred during a daring one-man incursion into enemy territory, where he defeated half the German deployment while escaping mere, with mere scratches. I feel I should succumb to the truth and tell you instead that he accidentally set off his rifle while polishing it! <laughs> Luckily, the bullet only grazed his arm. He hopes you are well and that those damned zeppelins have failed to deliver their bombs anywhere near Bromley. I certainly hope to meet you one day as your brother has told me so much about you. Until then, I remain, remain your faithful servant and Andrew's right hand, Peter Sterling. Both Corporal Andrew Fellows and Corporal Sterling were killed months later when the vehicle transporting them was hit by mortar fire. All right. Uh, we could do another air raid. Let's do this. Oh, hmm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Thing is good for. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. I'll stop. I'll stop. One of these days. Oh, hello. I'm entering a spy hideout. I have to three allies. Hmm. One. Two. Hey, what the hell?
Dearest Emma, <clears throat> I don't know if you received my last letter, and I hope this finds you and Harry well. The last week has been very difficult. We marched over 12 miles before we found the old trench, and almost right away, German shells started to hit us and shake the earth. Never was I more frightened in all my life. Every night I pray for you both and see your faces when I close my eyes. Never forget that I love you. Terrence, Lieutenant Terrence O'Connor, returned home at the end of the war. Congratulations. I waited for the day when your technology might allow my return. That wait is nearly over. And she was released by Desmond. Um, but she's still stuck in the gray because the technology has not quite got up there. Got up to where she was hoping it would be. Passing through, I promise. your problem anymore, my friend. The Apothecary Twins. <clears throat> the Apothecary Twins are targeting triage centers dealing with the overflow of wounded soldiers from nearby hospitals. 
using the chaos of the war as a cover for their bizarre experiments. We believe one of the spies is posing as a nurse in the nearby facilities. She has been taking blood samples into odd-looking cubes and delivering them to an unknown accomplice. Perhaps you will be able to spot them during one of these illicit rendezvous. <clears throat> Good luck. If I'm right, those cubes... If I'm right, those cubes are uh, the vials for the uh, observatory. The one that Kenway found. Edward. She wants to subjugate a, a humanity again. That, that's what it is. Because she hated us. She only saw us as servants and less than.
trot now. Go, go! Here we go. How am I doing on my collectibles? We have two more letters to find, which I'll get at another time, probably. Um, seven more glitches and nine more chests and one more yellow chest. Thanks for popping in. No, you're fine. You're fine. Do what you need to do. Uh, get get your rest, you know? Sleep well. I hope you had a great day. And I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Miss Fry has uncovered the location of the sinister cult of spies plaguing our country. You have to get this information. You know your orders, lads. The very best of luck. Have a good day now. this minute. Bravo! Nice boy! Come on! Again! Basically what he said, I'm gonna, I found the thing in time for us to rid of, of the menace, rid us of the menace once and for all, blah, 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 blah. All right, and it is down over here. Pulse down near first travel location. That would be too easy.
Yep, I didn't think so. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Alright. Promise? Come on. I don't know why they keep secrets from us. They're terrified of a few bombs, but soon we'll have hundreds of Zeppelins over London. Another sage, of course. Of course. He is yet another sage. Excellent work. The ringleader is dead, as are his bizarre disciples. Is that it, then? Well, there is still a war on. Then we both have our own affairs to return to. Know that you have done a great service to your country. Thank you. Nexus of flesh and machine. I am 
Dare twist De Desmond's words. Don't you dare twist Desmond's choices, bitch. Like, let's be clear here. She is severely twisting him. She didn't convince him of shit. She, the choices were purely let everybody on the planet fucking die or release Juno and save the world. That's a no-brainer, no matter what philosophy you believe in. We're experiencing some signal interference. Hello, hello. Need help, He did it for he didn't release her because he believed in her. He released her because he uh he had no choice in order, but to, in order to free, or not free, but to, uh, save everybody. Alright, let's see if I can figure this damn... glitch here out. Where is it? Again. Right there. No? Ah, no, right there. That's right. Wait a second. Am I... maybe... overthinking this? Or perhaps underthinking this? No, I don't want to just drop. Okay, let's go over here. And go down to... level with this. What can I see? Doesn't appear to be much. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. Up. Oh. Keep going up. I didn't say to stop. Come on, Lydia. Come on, Lydia. Up, oh, girl. There we go. Now. Get. <coughs> nope, not that. Okay, so that takes me up here. Fine. Oh, I know what it is. I think. Maybe. That's death. No, it's not. Oh, I could have sworn that was gonna be death. Okay. Um, let's try it. Let's try it from this side. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's something from this side that I'm missing. Come on. Up. Up. Oh. That could potentially do it. I'd have to find the right spot. But in theory... Well, hold on. What if... Yeah, that doesn't get me anywhere fucking close. Okay. But, what if from here... Okay, not here. But, over here maybe? No.
Yeah, nope, I give up for now. Um, let's try this one. There we go. All right, next up. Uh, we need, there's four more. There's one there that I can't get yet. There's one here. It's two, three. Uno mas. Uno mas. Here, hit this one. And for the record, we are kind of just killing time until the end of my stream in 16 minutes. So. <clears throat> Ooh, letter. One more letter. <clears throat> Dearest mother, thank you for the tins of food you sent. They didn't half make me feel popular with the lads here. They didn't half make me popular with the lads here. I'm getting along quite well. Uh, I'm getting along quite well, but as always, I miss you all terribly. I read little Tommy's letter and wished I could have been there with you. You must have been so frightened when those bombs started falling. Of course, Tommy thinks the Zeps are the most exciting thing ever to happen to London. But you must make sure he doesn't try to leave the house and get a better view of them. If they ever come home, come your way again. Which I hope and pray they don't. The weather here is getting better every day. Your loving son, Jeremy. Corporal Jeremy Talbot returned home six months later. Two weeks after his young brother Tommy was killed after a Zeppelin bomb hit his school. Where's your chest? Okay, we have one more letter somewhere that I haven't found yet. Um, I'm probably going to have to end up looking it up. Oh, wait. Let's, let's get this one first.
bitch didn't want to get wet. <laughs> bitch better have my moon. Well, <clears throat> I still have some exploring to, running around to do here, but let's head back to London proper, by which I mean the main storyline of Syndicate. Let's return to Evie and Jacob Fry. I'm fine. Uh, okay, so World War One spy hunt. And those. Those. I did that. How am I not? Here we go. Alright, here's the Ma runic Mayan cane sword we just got. Kind of pretty. Um, there was a, oh, crafting, that's right, that's what I'm looking for. Here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Craft the nightshade cloak. Inventory. Outfits. Here's the military suit, which she just got, uh, which we just got for doing the thing. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Why not? Uh, Defender's garb, the Aegis, Lady Meline's gown, Master Assassin, the Nightshade Cloak, upgrade preview, upgrade. And then these. 
the Aegis versus the Detection. Yeah, we'll stick with the Aegis. Uh, do we have any of her endgame capes unlocked yet? No, nothing past level 9. Hmm, unfortunate. Alright. Jacob, you, sir. Also got some stuff. He has the Master Assassin suit. One more thing that we have yet to unlock. Uh, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, we do have his Baron Jordan's finery. But anyway, belts. And then we also got him. Uh, Reaper belt. That was the one that we got from. Uh, What's his name? Virtual. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is the Master Assassin belt is still not as powerful as the te as the level 10 beer collector belt. So, hopefully this one whenever I get it. But anyway. Um we have four minutes. Actually, we might just call it there. Ooh, ah, excuse me. <clears throat> I apologize for all the yawning I've been doing. Um. World War One is hundred percent synced. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Answer the button. Uh, hundred percent, hundred percent. You do not have an active dreadful crime. Evie's notebook is only seventy-three percent synced. Hundred percent of the secrets of London. Uh, we still have one perk to do. And you know, a handful of these things. So we're getting there. We're very much getting there. I would say that overall we are in the probably 80% plus range of completion. Uh, we're in the final like 20% of the game, give or take. Um, that would be my my uh, suspicion. <laughs> Juno born, I have no earthly idea. Uh, what little we know about Juno is often taken from secondhand accounts. We first became aware of her when our friend Desmond relived his, the genetic memories of people who had come into contact her, with her in the past. What we know is that Juno is a member of the first civil civilization who, who lived on this planet before we did. This race of people created human beings as a slave race, but they rebelled and fought a long war. Woo, go us. Back then, though, Juno was part of something called the Capitoline Triad alongside fellow precursors Jupiter and Minerva. They were scientists of sorts, working together to try and stop a massive solar flare from destroying the planet. Only it seems like Juno was also looking to use the chaos to seize power and take over, and so she was imprisoned inside a grand temple on the East Coast. However, it seems that while imprisoned, she somehow transformed from a physical being to a digital one and she was able to reach out to various humans throughout time in an effort to free herself. And get this, we freed her. Us, the assassins. Now she's loosed, a literal ghost in the machine, in the gray, as she calls it. Her description of living as a dig digital entity. Nobody knows what she wants, or even what she's capable of. All I know is she's dangerous. She killed a friend of mine, and she's our responsibility. As for Galena, uh, yeah. 
instruments of the first will are the cult that follows Jup uh, Jupiter, Juno. Um, they believe that we should go back to the way things were when the first civilization was around, which which is that we humans should subjugate ourselves to the precursor race. I imagine it would be a bit like living in Arkansas. <laughs> Ah, as we've just seen some Juno themed cultists in World War One, it's likely that there have been Juno worshippers since the fall of the first civilization. However, I don't know that they were the same as the group that currently operates today. <clears throat> it's not often you'll hear me use the phrase, I don't know, by the way. So do make sure you enjoy that. Anyway, there is sometimes there is sometimes, but not always a sage involved. Honestly, with Juno's digital consciousness out there, uh, there sh could be groups of them anywhere. There was a group of them found in Abstergo Entertainment, Montreal, and I suspect there are some mucking about in Paris last year. Were some mucking about in Paris last year, around the same time we were. I've seen intelligence that suggests that the instruments and Abstergo have an uneasy working relationship. Uh helping each other locate precursor artifacts i don't fancy the idea of either group getting their hands on too many at least abstergo is the devil we know stages where they talk about the re reincarnation of eta most recent one uh is um most recent one is uh do they say standish i remember it was his last name john standish yep right there uh more recently an abstergo Inter entertainment employee named john standish tried to use their technology and a, and a helpless fleshy volunteer that was us to bring back his beloved wife you think there's ever been an assassin sage rebecca asks um, it looks like you found another sage operating in World War I, this German spy master, but honestly, by the looks of it, he wasn't one of the better ones. <laughs> Still, when things quiet, uh, quiet, quieten, quiet down, uh, we ought to send someone to see if there are any of his remains left in the city. Um, but, uh, yeah, in, I think it was in one of the comic books that, um, I'm not certain how co how connected to their canons their that their canon. Oh my god. I don't know how connected they are to the canon of the games. But I do know that they do cross over quite a bit cuz um Galena, the chick I was just this one, Galena of uh, uh Veronina, she's from the comics. Um as well as several others, also Otto Berg shows up, comics and or novels. But yeah, uh, point is, there's a whole expanded universe around Assassin's Creed, um, not just the games or the movie, and they're all connected. And the the uh, it's unsure. I, I am uncertain if the people who create the games consider the books and the comics to be canon or not. But I also don't see. I I also haven't seen, at least in the games I've played, any contradiction between them. Um, but, uh, anyway, point is, in one of the, I think it was comics, uh, they revealed a new sage post-John Standish, um, and he was the, I believe, a teenaged son of Desmond Miles. I'm not certain how that works, and I don't know exactly how that, uh, storyline walk, uh, fell, uh, has folded out since then, um, but I mean, it, for all I know, it could have turned out that he was uh, he was cl claiming to be uh, uh, Desmond's son, but isn't really. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. But anyway, I, I digress. I digress. Um, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in. That's it for me for the night. Um, tomorrow we'll be back with more Tomb Raider. Um, but, uh, yeah, as I said, thanks for tuning in and joining me as we continue our quest through the Assassin's Creed series. Um, I hope you all have been enjoying it as much as I have. Um, before we head out, I just want to quickly remind you all, uh, to check out my link tree if you feel like it. 
Uh, in it, you'll find links to my socials, my Discord, my YouTube, my Twitch, um, all the places where you can find me, basically, as well as a bunch of other recommend, uh, other streamer recommendations and other things like that that uh, you might find yourselves interested in or not. It's fine. Um, one of those things that's in that link tree is my Patreon, which is a place where you can support me if you so choose without having to mess with Twitch or YouTube. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, for it's like for a dollar a month or some a dollar or two a month. I don't remember exactly. But um, yeah, if you don't feel like doing that, that's fine. I won't hold it against you. Uh, you'll still have full access to all my content. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll be back, like I said, tomorrow with more Tomb Raider. Uh, and so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.